Top intelligence chiefs testifying on Capitol Hill that Iran's efforts to build a nuclear bomb may not be as imminent as many in Washington would like to suggest. Iran can close the Straits of Hormuz. Iran could also attempt to employ terrorist surrogates worldwide. However, the agency assesses Iran is unlikely to initiate or intentionally provoke a conflict. Even the U.S. Defense Secretary reports Iran has not taken steps to build an atomic weapon. The intelligence has been very clear on this. They, they, you know, they continue to develop uh, their enrichment capabilities. Uh, but the intelligence does not show that they've made the decision to proceed with developing a nuclear weapon. But that hasn't stopped U.S. politicians from talking tough. For weeks on Capitol Hill, there's been a push to build consensus that Iran is on the path towards building a nuclear bomb. In their mind, I think they believe that if I get a nuclear weapon, my regime will survive. We have to let them know that is not the case. U.S. politicians claim Iranian leaders have made a defiant move by loading fuel rods into the Tehran research reactor in a response to Western sanctions meant to coerce Iran into ending its nuclear program. Not to be outdone, the U.S. Treasury Department has fired back. It's announced even more sanctions, this time against Iran's intelligence ministry for alleged support of serious crackdown on political dissidents. The new U.S. sanctions have limited impact, but it's a further ramping up of tensions between the two countries over what many in Washington like to call Iran's nuclear capabilities, even when there are fresh indications Iran has not yet moved toward becoming a nuclear-armed nation. Kimberly Helkett, Al Jazeera, Washington.